Thanks for choosing 23 BC News at 11. I'm Gracia Aguilar. The search for the murder and kidnapping suspect Benjamin Peter Ashley came to an abrupt end after he was shot and killed by two sheriff's deputies. 23 BC's Stephen Hicks joins us now in studio with more on law enforcement strategy. Stephen. Well, Gracia, today we spoke with Sheriff Don Youngmoth, who gave us new details into those search tactics and why it was actually different from what we were told. Residents of Weldon, Onyx, and Jawbone Canyon are used to a quiet lifestyle. These past two weeks have been anything but. I'm glad it's over. I'm, I'm, I feel bad about the guy. Last night, the Kelso Valley manhunt came to an end after the suspect, Benjamin Peter Ashley, was spotted inside this mini mart in Inyokern. Just came in, got some uh, food and whatnot. And Seemed like the guy that was on the newspaper. Shortly after, deputies found him in the desert just behind the store. They confronted Mr. Ashley and ordered him to show his hands. He reached into his waistband, pulled out a 9mm handgun, at which time the deputies responded with gunfire from AR-15s. We had been told day after day that Ashley was contained within a perimeter police had set up after he shot at deputies two weeks ago. Today, Sheriff Youngblood tells us their plan was to actually get Ashley out of their search area. He had to leave that area, and that was our plan, to, to push him to where he had to move because if he's inside of a cabin locked, we can't kick every door in, up there in that mountain. Because they suspected Ashley was sitting in a cabin watching the news, they controlled the message he would receive. Notice last week we said we were backing off a little bit, uh, and, and there's some truth to that, but there was a strategy involved to, to uh, uh, make him surface. Because Ashley was killed, they don't know if that plan worked or if they just got lucky. But at the end of the day, Youngblood says it doesn't matter. You can run, but you can't hide. And Youngblood said his relationship with the various state and local agencies was one of the reasons why there were so many that volunteered to help in this search. Live in studio, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC.